22 veterans. That's a number that was released in 2013 by the Veterans Administration that drew a lot of attention. A study showed that between 1999 and 2010, roughly 22 veterans were dying by suicide every day. That number has fluctuated over the years, but it remains the inspiration behind efforts to help more of our nation's veterans. Efforts like Operation Reboot Outdoors. A cold winter morning on the Androscoggin River in Turner. Much earlier than my photographer and I wanted to be up. But time doesn't matter to the men we're meeting, at least not when it comes to fishing. It's like 50-50 chances it's good fishing or horrible fishing. Let's hope today it's the uh, good fishing day. The trick is finding a good spot. One untouched by anyone else. Get out of here knucklehead. I am going to knock you over. It also helps to surround yourself with like-minded people. You know, like they say, a bad day fishing is better than a good day work. Let's go. Dude, would you chill your biscuit? Dude, One look at this crew out on the ice and you'd think they've been best friends for years. They call him Big Pike Mike. <laughs> the truth is, one year ago, they were all strangers with one thing in common. Like before I joined the Army and when I first got out, I had a lot of good friends. And it's dwindled down to where I, I have maybe, outside of veterans, I have maybe two friends that are good friends. And I don't even really talk to them anymore. Might be a fish there. It's harder to That's communicate that with way. my regular friends that never served. It's like being in the military waiting on a shot in a line or something. I can talk all day around these guys because they know how to take my crude humor. Every man in this group is a veteran. I was an aviation operations specialist. I was stationed out of Fort Wayne, Red, Alaska. I was in a medevac unit. Ice fishing is just one of the activities these guys do together through Operation Reboot Outdoors. We're a lot more crew when you guys aren't around. <laughs> the nonprofit was started by Dan Waite. When I was at Walter Reed and I uh, was there for TBI and uh, PTSD for about approximately three months. And we used to hang around playing poker and I used to tell stories about being in the outdoors in Maine and how awesome it was, how it made me feel. How does it make you feel? It makes you feel at peace. It's the only time that anything makes sense is when I'm out here hanging out with like-minded individuals like my brothers and sisters that I served with. Wait provides so the gear and the expertise. When there's new vets, this is like a lesson. When they're coming out, I'm talking to them through it, showing them what we do so they can do it on their own. They eat together and talk, photo, sometimes back, about the military, that's but that's not the point. <laughs> you see his rifle? That was an M16. M16. <laughs> These veterans served in different military branches, even in different wars. The stories, they're they're the same. Yeah. They might be different places, but they're still the same. Some of these veterans are dealing with serious injuries here, that may slow them down. Number five on the ice. But out here, that doesn't matter. How'd that feel? Good. Felt real good. How they how when they fight? When I pass away, I'm going to leave that trap to you. <laughs> when I found Rebu, I was in a dark area. I was in and out of the hospital <laughs> due to health problems and mental problems. Where would you be if this organization didn't exist? I would probably have been one of the 22. Which is the very foundation of Operation Reboot Outdoors. There he goes. To reconnect those who are lost. And I was trying to find my purpose. And, I mean, I got a purpose as a parent and as a husband, but... There was that purpose that was still was missing. A buddy of mine actually, that I played sled, ho sled hockey with, went on a hunt with uh, Dan. And I was like, dude, that's pretty sweet, man. Like, I'd love to get involved. And I got talking to him and we met in Duncan at, in Farmington. <laughs> and uh, ever since then, he, he's been having to put up with me. That's an interesting method. I don't believe I taught you that way. That's why I catch big fish. <laughs> Through the organization, veterans go on moose, deer, bear hunts. They hang out with Waite and his wife and kids at their home. And they get the help they need without having to ask for it. There was a couple times in bear season, deer season, he threw me over his shoulder to carry me out because I got too cold and my legs were locking up. In return, many of the veterans Wait has helped now volunteer to help others. What I found through Reboot, how it saved me, I look at it, it could be a change of life or death for that veteran. Oh, at first I thought it was just going to be a small thing and now it's, it's, really, it's really blown up and 
I hope it's infectious throughout the country that other veterans step up and see what's going on down here in Turner, Maine. With the right help and the right mission and the, and the right uh, values that you can make a difference and change a life. You only, even if it's only one, you know, if we can save one person out of the 22, that's a win for us. Daddy! We got a flag! A win out on the ice. Close along, guys. Even if the fish aren't biting. The fish were not biting when we were there, but I think by the time we had left, they they got their stride going. They found some fish. Did you jinx them? I think so. I think Devin <laughs> and I were, were bad luck out there. By the way, Operation Reboot Outdoors works with veterans every day. They often get recommendations from churches around the state, but if you know of a veteran who might benefit from getting outside, you can reach out to the organization. You see their number at the bottom of the screen. We've posted that along with an email address in the 207 section of our website. And I'm guessing from what I just saw, they never turn anyone away. They will welcome anyone who wants to be in. They do. They do. Anyone who wants to get outside.